Hey, Daniel Seraph here, and uh, I just wanted to make this little video lesson uh, as a quick tip. And although it's a quick tip, um, I think that it's been actually one of the most important things that I've done for my health as a guitar player uh, in a long time. And it's a simple thing. So if you feel like, you know, uh, your body aches, your shoulders hurt, your back hurts, you always feel like you catch yourself slouching on the guitar um, and you just don't feel that comfortable with it. Well, this little piece of equipment is the best thing that I have purchased in years. And here it is. This is called a Dinaret guitar cushion. And uh, it looks simple. Uh, but you can buy it for $35, right? That seems a little extreme. However, well worth it. Um, $35, the website that I know of that really always has them is this website called Strings by Mail. I have no relationship with this company. I have no relationship with Strings by Mail. I just know that they readily have them available. This is the smaller cushion. So it's called the Dynarec uh, guitar cushion in the small size. And I highly recommend this piece of equipment. Um, maybe somebody on my channel will uh, figure out a way to build something that's uh, just as good, maybe cheaper or maybe different. I would gladly support that. Um, however, this is the best thing that I have found for the electric guitar, for me personally. Okay, and what it does is it actually gets the guitar up and in a position where you don't have to slump over the guitar to go to it you know i'm sure you like myself i play the guitar a lot hours and hours every day and even if you aren't playing as much as that as much as me like it, it's amazing how when you get the guitar up and you can sit up and the guitar comes to you rather than you go to the guitar man it is amazing how much that actually helps your ability to play, right? And for the most part, you know, if you think about it, most of us, when we're practicing the guitar, we're sitting down, right? Now, it's great to practice standing up because, you know, a lot of times uh, our gigs are going to be standing. But sometimes our gigs are sitting, you know, if we're going to jam with people or if we're going to play, you know, at a restaurant or a music venue, you might, like, be sitting sometimes, right? Uh, in a big band, or if you're playing in like a, you know, a larger group of guitar players. Like I currently, I'm in grad school, I play with like, uh, in a guitar ensemble with five different guitar players, right? And so we all sit for that. Um, but yeah, sometimes, you know, you might want to practice standing, but when not, this Dynaret guitar cushion is amazingly helpful. So if you look at the camera over here, I'm going to put it in frame, and you look at my body, Look at how much more up I am if I'm not playing down like this. You know, you can start to see my shoulders and angle there. And I start to kind of like go down to the guitar, right? And it's really actually hard for me to be up with good posture when the guitar is just on my lap. And you know, I know that this is like kind of a newer thing. A lot of people aren't talking about like the basics of sitting with the guitar, but it's so important if you think about it. You know, ergonomics, our posture, all that stuff is really important. And posture is not about just like being super upright, like military posture. That's not really good posture either. It's about being relaxed and being kind of relaxed upwards. So for years and years, I would play with a guitar strap sitting down. I would put the guitar strap, you know, and I could have the guitar right here. And it was pretty good, except it's, it put a lot of weight on my left shoulder. And so if I were practicing, you know, for even 30 minutes or an hour, especially if it's across the course of the day where I might be practicing, you know, as much as four or five hours in a day or playing or teaching, gosh, sometimes six, eight, ten hours a day, depending. Um, Man, my left shoulder, it used to just get so tired. And so I found this device, uh, classical guitarists pretty much created it. You know, classical guitarists are kind of forward thinking about posture and, you know, getting the guitar in the right place to play. And uh, so I came up um, in, in my undergraduate degree and a little bit of high school, I was studying classical guitar. 
And so I was kind of hip to these things like the A-frame and little different supports and stuff. And so I realized this one, one of my friends had it one day or something, and I tried it out and was just like, oh man, this is amazing. It really... It puts the guitar in such a nice location. Man, I can breathe. is right there and it's interesting because I feel like I um, I really have more access to the whole fretboard like just going up and down and one thing uh, you can see this in the other camera but one thing that I like to have is I, I always tell my students get off get off of sitting on your leg with your arm that's never good and this is a great way to get away from that and the elbow can be free and this is, you know, I just played a bunch of single notes, but like this is, this is great for if you're playing chords as well. It just makes my, my body so comfortable. So uh, to prove it, I've, I've, you know, told my, numerous of my students to get this cushion recently. And the unanimous feedback is, yes, this thing is amazing. It helps me play my acoustic guitar or my electric guitar. Um, any guitar and put it in a better place. One uh, quick aside, I haven't found that it feels that comfortable with an ES335 style guitar um, because the bout right here is a little bit too thin and it's hard to get on there. So I typically, if I'm playing with that guitar, the ES335 style Gibson guitar, uh, I'm gonna probably still use a guitar strap. But I have so many other guitars that are not that and this works so beautifully with it, my acoustic, my PRS, my Telecaster, my Stratocaster style guitar, my Novo, um, my Baritone Jazzmaster, all those guitars, they just feel really comfortable with it. All right, cool. So again, this is Daniel Seraph, and I really hope you enjoyed this tip. Um, there are lots of tips here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you like it, please click that like button, click subscribe, and uh, I'd love it if you left a comment. Let me know what you want me to talk about next. I'm making a ton of different videos and trying to help out as many guitar players as I can. So also, uh, the link's below uh, in the description here, but go to www.danielserif.com and you can get a five-part video course that's two hours long, really well laid out about learning the entire uh, neck of the minor pentatonic scale, that's right learning the pentatonic minor scale across the entire guitar neck, being fluid with it, and learning how to make music out of it rather than just playing scales. That's my thing. I want to help you make music, not just learn a bunch of technical stuff, right? All right, so again, my name is Daniel Seraph. Thanks so much, and have a great day.